Okay, that's unit five, the conclusion. So what did we learn in unit five? We learned about how to signal the end of your presentation. We need to remember that the audience will be engaging their brain at the end. It's the last thing they hear will be the thing they remember. So you need to wake them up, remind them the ending is coming. The end of my presentation. In conclusion, I would like to say our final finding is the most important part of this research is this is the thing I want you to remember. That needs to be in your conclusion. And you need to signal it. Then you need to have a summary and you need to have some concluding implications. What does this mean? So you basically have your main point and then a little bit about the future or what does it mean? You may be saying things like, in the future we need to study this more. In the future we need to work on this more. This has implications for managers. This is important because. Then you have question time. So question time we learned in this unit, not all questions are really questions. Sometimes questions can be criticisms or feedback. So we learned how to handle questions, how to invite questions, how to clarify questions, how to handle the questions. We also learned about accepting criticism and support or praise. We learned how to reframe or postpone questions. And we looked at how to get back to questioners in the future. I'll send it to you in an email is a good way to do that. Then we looked at a checklist. So this checklist is very handy and I think it's something for you to use in the future. That checklist talks about all of the things that we need to pay attention in our presentation. So you need to look at that checklist and say, hey, am I doing this well? Am I doing this? Am I doing this? That checklist is very handy. When you're watching your classmates make a presentation, think of this checklist. When you're watching yourself make a presentation because you record yourself, use this checklist. We're going to use this checklist in this class when you make your presentation. So this checklist is very important because every group that makes a presentation, you're going to review that group using that checklist. So the better you do on the checklist, the better your presentation, the better your result is going to be. So that's it. Five units. Not very hard but it takes a lot of practice and a lot of thought and a bit of time to make all of these things come together and make your presentation short and clear. What's the goal? Remember the goal? That the audience feels interested, not bored, and they remember your main point. You always want to keep that at the top of your brain. I want this audience to remember at least my one main point. Good luck with your presentations. I'm sure you're going to do a good job and you're going to make that audience interested and remember your main point.